And finally, our last test case. So we should return the rental in the body of the response. So should return the rental if input is valid. So here we need to change our expectation. We expect response that body to match object. We want this to match the updated rental. So let's get it from the database first. Rental in DB. We set this to rental that find by ID, rental that underline ID. Now, let's run this and see what happens. So save. Obviously, we have a failing test. So back in our RAV handler, we need to modify the last line. We need to send this rental object in the response. Save. Now, back here, our test is still failing. So let's see what's happening. The reason this test failed is because of how these two properties, data out and date returned, are set. So in the rental object that we get from Mongoose, because the type of these properties is set to date, their value is a standard JavaScript date time. However, the object that we're returning in the body of the response, that's a standard that's formatted using JSON. So the value is a string. So this assertion is a little bit too specific. We want to make it a little bit more general. We should look for the existence of certain properties in the body of the response. So we call to have property. Here we want to have date out. We should also have date returned, rental fee, customer, and movie. Save. Back in the terminal, you can see all tests are passing. Beautiful. However, this code is a little bit too lengthy. Let me show you a better way to rewrite this. So we expect response.body. This is an object, right? We want to get the name of all the properties in this object. So we call object.keys. Now we have an array of properties. Remember how we tested arrays in the section about unit testing? So here's our source array. We want to make sure this array equals another array. So we call to equal. Now we pass expect dot array containing. And here we pass another array. So let me break this down. All right. In this array, we add all those properties we want to look for. So date out, date returned, rental fee, customer, and movie. Now you could format this differently, however you want. So save, back in the terminal, all tests are passing. So now we can get rid of all this repetitive to have property method calls. 